Hi, I'm Nashlin, and thank you for watching ilearntoanimate.com. Okay, so I hope this looks realistic enough for now. Other than it's not rotating, it's not going, it's only going to the one direction. Alright, so once we are done, we will probably want to do a play blast on a preview. What we call it is a preview to see how does the animation look like when it's rendered out as an actual video. Okay, so in order to do that, you can actually right click on the timeline. You can't, there's a play blast right at the bottom, but if you can't see it, you can actually also go to Windows. Play Blast and you can click on this small little spawn box beside it, which means settings for Play Blast. Okay, you should be able to come up with this window Play Blast options, and you can use a time slider. The time range is time slider, which means it is going to be from 1 to 85. 85 means that it has stopped completely over here. Um, don't need to use sequence view from this view it means um, what you can also do is because the controller might be a little bit distracting if you want to play bus together and we can actually click on this show and hide uncheck the NURBS curve and it's being hidden for now for the play blast okay format definitely we are going to use a quick time format because we will need quick time player to see your our animation frame by frame okay quality is 70 display size uh, you can have it as custom if you wish to we can try a very standard size which is 480 or maybe 640 by 480 scale you can have it as 100 1 this doesn't matter movie file okay make sure you know where you're saving it for me I'll just browse to my location Bouncing ball location. Okay. And the file name I'll just put bouncing ball zero one. File type movie files and hit on save. Okay, once you're done you can just hit on. Um just to be safe, I'm going to hold on command and shift my ball right into the middle of the screen and right now I should be ready to do a play blast once it's done this is the video I've created can play it okay so I hope you have liked this if you want it to be more zoom in, you can actually zoom in a bit more. Or in fact, you can actually click on this uh, save action. Click on this so you can see where is your screen going to be at. Okay, so probably right now you can't see because the screen is actually, for my screen is actually way too far. Okay, so if I zoom it in, can see that this is my save screen so I can actually zoom in a little bit more so I can have a bigger uh, nicer animation look okay so hold on just adjust a little bit more yeah there's my top floor and when I play it's gonna be over here I'm gonna do a play buzz again just to make it look nice um, it will if you had done your settings you can just click on play blast and we we'll do it automatically for you and ask to override and you can just see on ok oh um, well sometimes there are some errors so what you got to do is save it as a different file name and play blast
Okay, there we go. Cool. Well, that's all for the first process of our bouncing ball animation in Maya. Stay tuned for the next few processes which actually creates rotation, squash and stretch for your bouncing ball. I uh, see you soon and thank you for watching islandtoanimate.com.